Hey guys, I had to bring Zalir with me because I needed someone to be with me for this. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, I know the game's not suitable. We gotta have the YouTube content. Ah, oh, fucking Monica. <laughs> yeah, Monica, I'll fucking load. Uh, oh. Oh! Monica's evil. Oh, that's just, she's not really that evil. Yeah. Okay, what's happening? You there? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little startled, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> you'll you'll know my reaction in the video. anymore it just be Yuri and Monica right anymore. right Siri's not there anymore yep I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that but I have no motivation to join any clubs I'm perfectly content with just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime it's always the anime club, but it's not like there will be any girls in any way. School's day so ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack my things, I stare up blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There aren't really any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me, and I just want to deal with it. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Dry. <laughs> Hi, Monica! Don't kill me! <laughs> she just fucking glitched out of nowhere! Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, and totally not a yandere or anything. <laughs> Basically completely out of my league. That's what you want to believe. <laughs> yeah, keep telling yourself, kid. Keep telling yourself that. So having her smile at me so generally feels a little... Weird, right? What did you come here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? Come on! <laughs> Why she gotta do this? She has to be like this. I guess you should check the check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that. I actually quit the debate club. Really, you quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take some something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? I'm actually starting a new one. A li Was that one of the jump scares? Were the game glitches? You there? Slayer? You're glitching. 
glitching out, bro. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Yeah, you're glitching out. Well, it's, it's most likely me because, um, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, my, my grandmother's internet is not very good. So it's probably me, not you. Uh, uh, don't, don't worry about it. Uh, so is it normal for the game to, like, flicker like a fucking TV screen? Yes. Okay, that's one of the normal ones. Alrighty then. Literature. That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing that there's only three of us. That's a fucking lie, and you know it, you, you fucking bitch. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my member members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. Besides, a member is a member, right? Did manga say, she? Hmm... Hey, Dry, by any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at least visit my club, it would make me really... <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> Please. Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like my... <laughs> Get out of there now. Get out of there now. She knows. She knows too much. Get out. Sure, I guess it. No! No! No, 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 no. You don't. Don't put me through this. Don't you. No! <laughs> awesome! No! <laughs> Like, we're two ghosts behind this kid, like, no! Get out while you still can! We're like Cosmo and Wanda, this fucking kid's Timmy Turner, we're like, get out, get out! Get out! She's gonna, she's gonna kill everyone except for you and her! Jesus Christ. The next thing she's, she, next thing she might do is that she might find a way to fucking glitch Undertale in this bullshit. I don't even know. Oh my god! Just sense, just sense. Just sense. I can help. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials for another time. You're... You're more important. Monica. Your thing's showing. You're getting a little creepy. Yeah, he's starting to get very, very tight. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and Irresistible Smile. Oh my god. <laughs> I fucking hate this dialogue. If only he knew how right he was. <sighs> if only right we knew what we were doing. I deject following Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of school I rarely visit. Monica, full of energy... Swings open the cl classroom door. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. <laughs> why the f why the fuck did it glitch green? Why did it glitch green? <laughs> Zulia, what's happening? <laughs> A guest? Uh, Seriously, you brought a boy? Okay, so don't. Okay, so don't be alarmed by that. The game does random jump scares like that. It's random whether or not it will happen. It's different for everybody. So don't be alarmed. I hope I don't get the fucking real life mouth. I really don't want the real life mouth. <laughs> uh, I don't think you will. It's a ten percent chance, but you never know. Oh, fucking hell! Why? Why? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Dry. All words escaped me in this situation. This club. It's full of incredibly cute girls. Yeah, except... Kill you. There's only one girl. 
and that was Sayori. But you took her away from me. <laughs> you, you, you know that meme with, like, um, like, it's just Monica and I have bread on her face? Like, what are you? <laughs> and it said, I can't hear you! And it said, yes! You're an idiot sandwich! <laughs> so let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend. I... Why are they doing this? <laughs> I don't want to be Monica's boyfriend! <laughs> what? No, I'm not! That's Suki, the girl with the sour attitude, who's a, whose name is apparently not Suki, is the one I didn't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first-year student. Anyways, this is not Suki. Energetic as usual. This is Yuri, the vice president. I I it's nice to meet you. Yuri appears com Apparently more mature and timid, it seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet you both. So I ran into Dry in the classroom, then decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... Well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Dry? No. No, don't sit down. You're dealing with the devil here. <laughs> the girls have a few deaths arranged for the form table. Listen, it means the Leo are just witnesses to this poor fucking boy. He, he, he has no idea what he's getting himself into. <laughs> this boy is about to die. <laughs> Rest in peace, my man. He, he, he's basically nothing. This main character is basically nothing to Monica. She just wants us. That's all she wants. It's us. It's not that fucking kid. That kid doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, he, she doesn't give a fuck about the main character. She only cares about us. Still feeling awkward. I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the larger clubs, my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there are <sighs> It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interesting in putting all the effort to start something brand new, especially when something doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. And, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. We're never going to make it to the festival, Monica. So what the fuck's the point? I'm yeah, more... We're never going to make it there. She just wants to fuck with us. Yeah, she... she I, I don't like being fucked with Monica. I'm the guy that doesn't take anyone's bullshit. Just get to the chase. Get to the point. Just delete them. I don't want to go through another one. Just delete them already. <laughs> I'm more confident we can all grow this club before we... Fuck off! <laughs> right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such a different girls. All interested in the same goal. Yeah, it's a shame that'll never fucking happen! <laughs> Monica must have worked real hard to find these two! Well, she didn't fucking fire them. Sayori did. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good- No, it's actually coffee. It's not Japanese, it's, it's cup of Langshan Suzhong tea. <laughs> I, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. 
Yeah, and then fucking commit seppuku. That's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I really enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Dry, what kind of things do you like to read? Huh. That's weird. Sayori's being awfully a lot more confident now that Sayori's gone. That, that's, that's so weird, Zilli. It's so weird. Your Yuri never talks. Uh, and now that um, her obsessive nature is amplified, she's more talkative now. She's going to talk about the devil book, is she? About the camp? I'm not sure. I think she... I think she talks about a different book in Act 2. No, she talks about the same book. Okay, never mind. She just goes into more detail. Oh, uh, okay. Which is the scarier part. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Can I can, can I interest you in some One Piece? It's never ending. Keep you busy. Please don't kill me. Yeah, by the way, please don't kill me. <laughs> I mutter quietly myself after Lee. <laughs> don't kill me. <laughs> Natsuki head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the remember teacup. My favorites are novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is in such a foreign world is quite impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. You, but, you know... I like a lot of things. Yeah. Murder. Ain't that right? Monica. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me. Game. If you're gonna kill me, just do it right now. Game. Don't don't fucking do this right now. I, I I will go to war. Don't fucking do this to me right now. Don't fucking try me, bitch. Yeah, don't try me. Don't try me. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and to completely throw you for Zalir. What? If you want to know if there's a finger in the first video, it's the middle one. <laughs> I'm flipping off my switch right now because I cannot believe they are fucking with me. Well, see you guys in the next vid. Stay crispy. Dry is dry, wet is wet, and... Fuck you, Monica. Just fuck you, Monica. Just fuck you, Monica.